Hello there guys, welcome back to the seventh war of season 39. This time Jedi Assassins, we are facing TCN, one of the shadiest uh, alliance uh, currently and one of the whalest alliance in the entire world. And yeah, their defense is really strong. They are a really strong alliance uh, because we're basically just like five people play all 30 accounts together so anyway we had to face them it was going to be a really really hard war for us and we are coming from a loss against uh, gt 4 e so we had to do our best anyway on this first note we had to take down this one it wasn't an issue especially because i had uh, Kimping Trinity with Mr. Sinister Synergy, so I was able to power lock him every single time I uh, he was using a special on me. So yeah, uh, it was over uh, really quickly. Uh, I didn't have any any problem fighting him, especially with the Digimon. Uh, the damage redu is reduced uh, by a lot, so uh, I was big boosted here because I didn't wanna die to be honest because it was. It was going to be a really tough war for the both sides, right? So on the second note, I had to take down was um, Arcus. This was this was the mini boss. I didn't take the second note of this pad nine. I had to share the pad with a with a friend. Anyway, um, against this Arcus, I really like to play uh, really slow this time because sometimes it can get really sketchy especially because uh, the power lock that you apply on arcus it doesn't last l that much time and he can also purify it so yeah i was just trying to play uh, the fight really slow i didn't wanna risk anything even though i i had invulnerability boost on uh, i was just trying to have an opening to apply my degen with my special one on Arcus and once I did I was like okay I'm doing really great just trying to do as much as heavy attacks as possible that way uh, we can have a really really good space between them uh, between him and me and yeah the, the fight was really really con over control under control for me and yeah, every single time I was watching that I didn't have any rage or any debuff on me. I was using my special one to apply the degen to reduce the damage taken. And yeah, once I saw that I was able to take down with a combo, I did it. And yeah, it was a really easy fight. Just a bit long uh, because I decided to do that way. I didn't want to risk it as I said and on the next fight I had to take down this Terrax. This Terrax I was uh, quite surprised that it isn't a Maxic ability Terrax so he didn't start it with two bars of power so I was like okay it's gonna be a, a bit easier than if he was Maxic ability so yeah uh, I was paying patiently um and i just waited out to my overpower finish so with the rage i had uh, at that point i was going to refresh the overpower because of my sick ability of my kimping because my kimping is sick max is max sick ability so i'm gonna get a lot of uh, overpower and look at that damage guys look at that damage there was a point when i got three overpower right now look at that degen damage i was doing to terrax almost 2k damage per tick i was like no way dude <laughs> look at that look at that i think this is the fastest takedown on terrax on this mini boss using pin kimpin for me like really really fast i was re really lucky that i was purifying everything and i had no issues there and on the next fight we had to take down dr doom rank five okay it's a max dr doom and he hits really hard okay i wasn't aware that he was rank five at this point because i was like okay i had to take down this uh, doctor doom there's no issues i al always do it and i don't usually have any problem 
but you guys will see when I get uh, hit by his special one. Look, I think this is the is the next one, the next uh, special one he lands on me. Uh, he did a really decent damage on me, I, and I got worried. Uh, you you'll see. I think this is a special. No, okay. I think it's coming. It's it's coming. But I got really really a lot of damage because. Um, I don't think I had invulnerability boost, or did I? I, I? I don't remember, I have no clue. Anyway, uh, yeah, look at that uh, block penetration he has. The damage taken is really high. I cannot uh, land my DJ on him. And did you see? The damage I got uh, for, from that special one, I was like, okay, I think this Doctor Doom is really, really strong. And I got a bit nervous here because yeah I had lost like 30% HP at this point and I wasn't doing that much of damage because I wasn't triggering the DJ on him and I wasn't doing that well uh, I didn't wait to him to use SP1 so he could purify the power lock and then use my special one to apply the DJ. This time I did and I was like, okay, I was playing <laughs> this fight really wrong. That's why it took uh, it took uh, a lot of time. Anyway, we ended up uh, doing the, the fight and yeah, uh, you, can, you can see the difference between a rank four to a rank five. It's really, it's huge. I, I didn't expect to be there a lot of difference but there was there was anyway on the next fight we had to take this america chavez on note 30, 35 it's one eye open note on pat nice section 2 and uh, i had to use kimpin as well so i was i wasn't worried on this fight uh, even though sometimes you guys know uh, america chavez loves to use her heavy attack just like all of a sudden and, and I was like okay there's no issues every single time she uses a special one she's gonna get power lock so she's she's not going to get any power gain and she won't get her special too that's what uh, is the most uh, scary um, ability of America Chavez that she she gets a lot of power but when using Kimpin with Mr. Sinister Synergy she is just a cake a cake a cake and look at that, rank for America Chavez, I took down no issues. And on the next fight, I had to take down this Weapon X with Kim Pinjea. Yeah, I have done this fight before, but I don't really recommend it uh, because there's always some room for mistakes because the fight is a long fight. Uh, look at the damage I'm doing. I'm doing really really decent damage especially because the overpower is always active most of the fight and uh, Still he's healing really really strong anyway uh, My plan was to try to keep down the the rage on him so I was a slow combo on him like do, like when you play Omega Red that way you slow your hits uh, by half a second uh, approx that way the rage of him doesn't uh, goes uh, like way more uh, anyway I, I was like okay he's not losing the rage and it's been a minute but I already took down like 50% HP I was like okay but I'm already used to this kind of gameplay so I'm just gonna keep going like I'm just gonna try to keep two DJs on him as much as I can that way I can do more damage than the one he heals and yeah look at this like just intercept every single time after four hit combo it's really inter uh, really easy to intercept a weapon x because when his rage is active he's gonna be uh, really aggressive and he's gonna throw every single special he's gonna be uh, going dash towards you so yeah uh, at this point two minutes has gone and he's almost at 25% HP so I, I wasn't worried at all so it was only 
a bit of a long fight, to be honest. But um, I did. I, I had to do it that this way because if I had brought like Nimrod or Warlock, I would have done it uh, faster. But the fight against Doctor Doom and America Chavez would have been a bit uh, harder, right? So uh, I got hit on uh, at the end, so it it wasn't a, a perfect fight. But I managed to solo this fight. Uh, Kimpin is just a tank, a really really tanky boy. And for the last fight, I it wasn't my my fight mainly. But uh, my my friend, he wasn't really sure to do it with Tigra. And I was like, okay, I'm still boosted with my Kingpin because I use six, uh, six hours boost. So I was like, okay, I can I can take it. Uh, I shouldn't have any issue fighting an Ilus on this node. Uh, besides, I can benefit from the Falter node because I'm gonna be pur purifying the debuff and also gonna be purifying the armor break and the other ability that uh, Anilus triggers on me and I was like I just have to be careful with his un unstoppable and on as long as I'm aware of that I'm gonna be fine and look at that I'm, I was glad that my special one but was unblockable because the overpower was uh, active uh, otherwise my sp1 would have failed and I would have probably gotten hit. Anyway, uh, look at that. I got cornered here and I got a bit worried. But uh, he was being really, really aggressive on this fight. Uh, he's not usually that aggressive. And yeah, but I was I was able to manage the fight uh, at the corner. I played really well on this fight. And yeah, I'm at 100% HP. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna die here uh, e even with my DJ on like I can get hit like 20 30 times and I think I uh, still gonna survive and yeah it was a really easy fight this was my last my my last fight for the entire for the war and yeah uh, as you guys probably already know we ended up losing this war uh, it wasn't enough we did a really good war an amazing war uh, from our side, like uh, against GT40, we ended up uh, giving three deaths, but the last one, it's like, yeah, it didn't count because the war was already lost, but anyway, it did. And against them, against TCN, uh, we did an amazing war, like dying two times only against them, it's a really impressive um, war, but unfortunately for us, they did better, and yeah, there's nothing we can do, as I said, when there's only a few people that I can count with only one hand that are using the entire alliance, you know. But anyway, GG's to them. Um, as long as Kabam don't detect them, well, they are clean, right? <laughs> anyway, GG's to them, GG's. And... Hope we can recover from this. At this point, we are at the bottom of Masters. So we need to win the other five wars left of the season if we want to get a, a chance to fight back for the top three. Otherwise, I don't think we're going to be able to finish on top three this season. Um, but yeah, we're going to do our best. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, remember, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.